Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to learn crop tool in Adobe Photoshop. So friends, in this video, we are going to learn how to crop a part of your photo to create interesting composite. So friends, you can get a crop tool in a toolbar from here. Okay, by pressing a keyboard shortcut C, you can activate this crop tool. Fine. So cropping is the process of removing portion of a photo to create focus or adjust the composition. Use the crop tool to crop and adjust photo in Photoshop. The crop tool is a non-destructive and you can choose to retain the crop pixel to optimize the crop boundaries later. Now the crop tool also provides an intuitive method to adjust a photo while cropping. So friends, here in the toolbar you can see a crop tool. If you want to change to this different crop tool like perspective crop tool or a slice tool or a slice selection tool, then by pressing shift plus C you can change to a different different crop tool fine by pressing C for example right now I am in move tool and if I want to go to a crop tool then just press C and you can go to crop tool okay from here I am just selecting this crop tool so friends now we are going to our example where we are going to learn this crop tool fine so we are going to start with this example so friends, as soon as I am selecting this crop tool, in Photoshop place a cropping border around the image. As you can see, this is a cropping border. And if you are use the crop tool to on a previous image, the border will be initially be set to that previous size. So friends, before using this crop tool, you make sure to reset this ratio. So friends, before we go any further, let's reset the crop tool to default setting. Okay, in a Windows operating system, you can right click over here to reset this tool or you can also use control click in Mac operating system to reset this option. Okay, just select this reset tool and the crop will be reset to by default. Now friends, if you look around the border, you will see these crop handles. There are one on top, bottom, left, right and one in each corner. Okay, these. So friends, by pressing a mouse, you can drag this to crop like this, okay? And you can get your exact crop position, okay? If I want like this, and just by pressing enter, you can crop this area. Now friends, if you want to crop this photo from the center, then press Alt in your keyboard like this just pressing alt and drag and as you can see it will be cropped from the center fine you can also crop like this okay so if if i if you are not using alt then it will be cropped like this so by pressing alt it will be cropped from the center so friends now we are going to see some property of crop tool as you can see over here from here you can apply a ratio you can apply a width and height resolution you can apply a different different size for example if i am applying the size for uh, 4 by 5 in 300 resolution and as you can see it will be uh, select automatically now using your key you can change this expect ratio i am just using my arrow key to change this expect ratio or you can also select from here like this and by using your mouse you can also move okay so it is a very simple you can also change this expect ratio or you can also use this corner to adjust by yourself and now if you want to commit this then you can press enter or you can also use this property commit current crop operation to commit this crop so as you can see our photo is cropped okay now just i am pressing ctrl z to undo this operation fine now i am showing you the another thing right now i am just selecting this crop tool okay now i want to reset this then just go to here and just reset it and again whenever i am selecting this crop tool and it will come to the original ratio fine guys you can also apply a width and height by yourself okay so here you can apply a width and height friends next we are going to see a crop overlay here you can see a crop overlay option to set the overlay option for the crop tool now before we move to learning how to 
at just an image let's look at one more handy feature of the crop tool which is crop overlay i click on my image and as you can see it bring up the cropping border and it notice that 3 by 3 grid and appear inside the border this grid is known as a rules of third as you can see in my overlay by default this rules of third is selected now you can change the overlay from your keyboard by pressing the o okay just pressing o from your keyboard and you can change this overlay and you can flip the orientation of certain overlay like a triangle golden spiral or etc then just press shift plus o and as you can see it will flip the orientation of certain overlay for example right now i am in this overlay spiral overlay and as you can see by pressing shift plus o so like this you can use a keyboard shortcut to change the overlay or also you can flip the orientation by pressing shift plus o okay now guys the another way to commit the size for example right now i am using this crop tool for example my crop tool is like this now i am happy with this crop size so what we are doing i am just pressing this uh, button to commit my crop means i am just pressing this button to apply this crop or we can also use enter from the keyboard or the another thing is just double click here and it will be cropped so guys there are three way to commit your crop in adobe photoshop so friends now we are going to learn one more thing for example you select this part first of all we are going to change this the rule of third okay and uh, i'm just selecting this uh, expect ratio like this i'm just drag like this and it will be cropped you can also use this technique to crop your custom size okay i'm just selecting this now i don't want this crop so you can also use this option to cancel the current crop operation just click here and it will be cancelled okay or else just select this part okay like this or you can also use escape from your keyboard to cancel this part so there are a multiple keyboard shortcut in adobe photoshop for the single process so friends like this you can use a crop tool for a different usage for example right now i am this part and i just want this part only so first way is just click the crop tool and by drag you can add this okay like this and also you can use your mouse pointer to move this image in your crop area like this okay and just press enter or press here or just double click to commit this crop fine now the another way is just apply the expect ratio okay just i am selecting 5 7 and as you can see our crop will select it to 5 by 7 i am just adjusting my photo like this okay and just press enter and your crop is committed now as you can see here some part is getting meshed so what i am doing i am again selecting this crop tool little bit of drag okay and press enter so like this you can crop your photo in adobe photoshop there are a multiple use of crop tool in adobe photoshop you have to learn by yourself do a practice a lot and you will learn a lot in adobe photoshop you can create a very creative photo in adobe photoshop using a different different tool you can also combine this all the tool we already learned in our previous video and you can create a very fantastic photo so friends this is all about a crop tool in adobe photoshop in our next video we are going to learn prospective crop tool in adobe photoshop Thank you so much guys. See you in the next video.